What up there, homies? It's your boy, Justin Bassetti, back again with another Data Token video, another Data Token update. Just a friendly reminder, if you're new to the channel, trying to find as much data news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of data partnerships, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely check out the rest of my video for all on uh, my channel, and definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links I post in this video, as well as check out my Theta Wall address for any kind of donations, as well as my Chicago Marathon donation page. Now, diving into today's video, where like we normally do, we're going to check out Twitter again, like the usual and going on to another article because i have a lot more information for you guys i'm sure you're gonna find it really exciting so diving on the twitter starting off there seeing that here brian maser.data tweeted this article in regards to cnbc microsoft is bringing xbox game pass to cloud streaming to smart tvs so really looking forward to spreading this kind of news for you guys because it's going to be really exciting also give a, brian a little follow on twitter just because he does share theta news as well as a lot more information in regards to theta content 2022 so really looking forward to that event later on in this year december of 2022 but going on to this article we're gonna see that like the article said on that post on Brian Maser, we're going to see Microsoft is bringing Xbox Game Pass cloud stream to smart TVs so users don't need a console. This article was written on June 9th, 2022. Looking at these little bullet points, seeing that Microsoft said it will first bring the Xbox app to Samsung's 2022 smart TVs and then expand distribution to other manufacturers. With the rollout, Microsoft is focused on bringing gaming services to people who don't have consoles. Gamers will be able to play Xbox app with Sony's Bluetooth connected dual sense controllers as well as microsoft's wireless xbox controllers those are the key points as you can tell that was on the beginning so really taking a quick time out and overview of what that really means we do know samsung is a partner with data we also know that sony is a partner with data so as you can tell with this whole decentralized gaming and everything it looks like this is where we're going really looking forward to that because data is going back to the roots i know we were a little distracted in my opinion in terms of the nfts because of the hype on there but now going back to the traditional route of gaming Gaming and streaming looking forward to how this is all going to turn out and then it is it says 2022 so looking forward to how these tvs are going to be associated especially since samsung already released their phones as well as their tablets for those type of nfts that were going to be released on theta drop but more on that later going back on this article we're going to continue over here seeing that here's a picture of the gaming of what it wants to look like i'm sure in the near future where you do not need a console which is wild in my opinion i did game on the ps2 ps3 and also on like you know xbox 360 back in the day but thinking of playing games on an app and not even on a console just a little wild to me because that's just how the traditional route was continuing with the article we're going to see that microsoft is releasing an xbox app for smart tvs enabling consumers to stream xbox video games even if they don't have consoles microsoft said thursday that it will be the first bring the app to samsung's 2022 smart tvs and then expand distribution to other manufacturers it's a bold bet for microsoft after xbox hardware revenue jumped 92 percent last year the company said the app will be available starting June 30th in 27 countries. Also taking a little time out over there, we do know that Theta Network is associated with multiple countries other than the United States, also in Asia, Europe, as well as, you know, the U.S. So really looking forward to this more broad expansion in terms of the project. The move indicates Microsoft is focused on picking up revenue from gaming content and services, as opposed to just consoles, where the company is lagging behind Nintendo and Sony. Microsoft's biggest splash in gaming came earlier this year when the company announced plans to buy game publisher Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion. I believe this was the biggest game merger in history, so really looking forward to more improvements from there. Gaming is Microsoft's fourth largest major product category and the company is aiming to lure more users to its Game Pass subscription service, which costs about $10 a month and includes an option for people playing on PCs and streaming via the cloud. The hardware business picked up steam in 2020 after Microsoft released its Xbox Series X and S consoles. And as people spend more time playing games while offices and schools were closed due to COVID pandemic, but component supply shortages and recently lockdowns in China have hurt Microsoft's ability to produce new consoles. Here's a little quote saying that, we have taken share globally for two quarters in a row, and we are the market leader in quarter among next-gen consoles in the United States, Canada, UK, and Western Europe. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella told analysts on conference and call in April. But the overall picture isn't so rosy. London-based researcher Empire Analysis estimated that Microsoft sold 7.7 .7 million Xbox Series S and X consoles in 2021, while Sony sold 12.5 million PlayStation 5 systems and Nintendo sold 24.3 million Switches. 
Gamers will be able to play Xbox app with Sony's Bluetooth connected DualSense controllers as well as Microsoft's wireless Xbox controllers. Concluding this overall article we're going to see, in opening up gaming off the console, Microsoft is going where games are playing. That means catering to mobile devices running operating system from Apple or Google, over 25 million Game Pass subscribers can stream games from Microsoft's data centers onto these devices. A year ago, Microsoft said that the Xbox division was developing streaming devices for cloud gaming. The company will be requiring games to be connected to special devices as Samsung televisions to stream games through the Xbox app. We have made the decision to pivot away from the current iteration of a streaming service codenamed Keystone, a Microsoft spokesperson told CNBC in an email. We will take our learnings and refocus our efforts on a new approach that will allow us to deliver Xbox Cloud Gaming to more players around the world in the future. Samsung's Lays and Smart TV market with 21.3% share, according to data from Informa Tech Technology Research subsidiary Omnia. So really taking a quick step back and overall look at what this article really is saying, partnership between Sony, Microsoft, and Samsung associated all of them together. In my opinion, just a huge improvement for potentially beta. Just a friendly reminder there because definitely do your own research. But Samsung, Sony, and Microsoft all are partner or at least associated somehow with Theta Network and really looking forward how the rest of this year is definitely going to turn out because there's so many updates and improvements and partnerships with Theta Network all together. I know a lot of people may not like where the price is currently, but you have to understand understand that Rome and everything great is not built overnight. It does take time in terms of the partnerships and the price will definitely fall along with that also. But definitely put your thoughts and comments down below what you guys think about this article. Definitely put your thoughts and comments if you play gaming and how you think about non-console gaming, especially associated with Theta and their Samsung Smart TVs. There's so much information here in this one article and I'm honestly so happy that I was able to find it. Definitely, like I said before, if you're new to the channel, trying to find as much Theta news, updates, entities, or any kind of data partnerships definitely please hit that like and subscribe button and definitely follow my channel and definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video as well as my theta wall address for any kind of donations for theta t fuel or tnt20 token as well as checking out my chicago marathon fundraiser page really looking forward to seeing you guys you guys know how it is that's all i have for today's video but you guys know how it is it's your boy justin facetti so try to keep up hi deuces